Good morning, everyone. So today's video is going to be on Mononoke Inu and why the second I turn green on this, I'm dumping it for Saitama. Now, I actually have trillions of shares of this, okay? I had trillions of shares even before they changed their logo because they're impossible copyright violation, which I'm going to make it clear. At the beginning, I liked this project. I thought, you know what? They're, you know, fixing issues. This new wolf I thought looked really good. I liked the gameplay. Um, you know, I thought it was going to be a pretty decent investment here. Um, and I'm not even a real big game player. You know, I liked the, you know, redistribution. Um, so, as you've seen, Shiro Inu has literally over 15,000 holders in three day, three or four days now. And their marketing is 4%. So, I asked Mononoku Inu in the Telegram, Hey, I see your marketing's 5%. What... What exactly are you spending your money on? And they banned me. What are you doing? So that really set me off. If I'm a shareholder and I have trillions of shares in your project and I ask you a simple question about where the 5% of marketing goes and you ban me from Telegram, that's a huge red flag. Because, I mean, you guys are getting 9% of this tax and we're getting 1% back. And... It hasn't really moved over 40,000 holders. I mean, it's, I think it's like 48,000, but I mean, they're not even remotely as close as what Shiro or Saitama are doing. You know, I've told you guys before, I thought this shit's tacky, the, you know, fake names on developers, but it wasn't a huge concern for the sheer fact is we don't even know who did Bitcoin and, you know, guys are paying $65,000 today for Bitcoin. But, I mean, this shit's tacky. If you stand behind your work and you're so cool and good at what you do, you shouldn't have no problem, you know, doxing yourselves. So, yesterday they came out and said they burned, you know, 1% of the supply. Whatever. But here's the problem. Right after that, the, the coin dropped 50%. So... Being that I don't already like these people because they booted me out of Telegram, uh, I went on Facebook and their group and I went some other places and I was looking I was like, I wonder why a, this coin that's about to be listed on L Bank today and just burned 1% of their supply would be down 50%. And lo and behold, what do you think I found out, guys? Multiple people in the Facebook and on Twitter said that there was a whale in the group. He asked a question. They banned him from the Telegram. So he basically gave him a middle finger, uh, dumped all his shares. And obviously it was a pretty substantial whale. I mean, I can't verify that, but I mean, I've seen it from at least seven people just on Facebook and Twitter that, you know, that's what happened is the guy got pissed off that these jack offs booted him out of Telegram. So, if you do a project and you're literally censoring and booting anybody and everybody that has a, a substantial question, I hope your project fails. I hope you fucking people crumble. I think your whole development team is a bunch of jack-offs. And I really hope your project crashes and burns. I feel sorry for the people that invested, including myself. And like I said, I have trillions of shares. And the second I'm green, they're getting fucking dumped because I don't support projects like this that think they can just censor people or, you know, block people anytime they ask a question. I don't want a part of that. That's why I'm so heavy into Saitama. They don't act like that. They don't do that kind of shit. You know, same thing with Shiro Inu. I mean, some of them idiots spam stupid emojis and shit, you know, 20 times in a row. And they ain't been banned. But you ask a simple question on their telegram here and they, they block you or ban you? I don't think so. So don't be surprised. The second this thing pumps up, it's getting dumped and I'm buying more Saitama.